Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? Today I have some really great news that I've actually been bursting at the seams to talk about since last November. Yes, November of 2015. So in November of 2015, I did a video that I called The Dreamers Will Be Awakening. And you know, I've referred to certain people or the other side of the union as the dreamer, the sleeper, the one who's wounded, the one who's still healing, the one who's just not fully awake yet, or maybe not awake at all, more of a feeler than a knower. And those people, guess what? It's time. We're finally in the time now where those people will begin awakening you'll begin awakening of other parts of yourself and your other will have their awakening if they're not awakened or fully awakened yet and this has been a necessary thing so I've got several things to talk about and today is significant because it is leap day it happens once every four years we could go back about four years that puts us in about 2012 where we were coming into this time frame. So today is leap day. We're ready to leap forward. We're ready to um, really get ahead with this. And I've been excited about this. I've had the brakes on me in terms of my higher guidance of don't talk about it. It's not time yet. Don't talk about it. It's not time yet. And I was feeling it from last November. I was like, woohoo, things, things are going to be really popping this spring. Of course, for a lot of people, um, they still have their individual timelines. What I'm going to talk to you about right now are the general timelines for the thousands of people that will begin awakening. And as we all know, awakenings happen for people in different ways. Uh, I want to reassure you that this is not intended to be painful. There are intended to be changes. The awakening as though you've turned the lights on and someone comes out of a long slumber and they may be needing a little bit of time to come up to speed, but they will. some people will be very much fully awake and aware. And all of the things that you've been knowing, gleaning through your own experiences and also some of what you've been uh, taking in, it could be through readings, through sessions, through a psychic, some of what you know and what you don't know, some of what you pushed away from you. Some of the other things that have need to happen for the other side of you, like mending fences with family, such as taking proper care of the children, really getting things up to a level where it will be easy to properly maintain. So all the major alignments are done and I'm going to talk about some of those and I have an illustration for you. March is, uh, these are the ones that I get. And yes, I'm putting myself out on the line here, really putting it out there because I have put myself out there all along and I know that there's people that think it's pie in the sky I really don't care what you think I know what I know and I know what I'm here for and I know what I've been participating in now that does somewhat make things a bit different because from my perspective I can talk about the participation from what I call behind the scenes and I want to let you know that there has been an immense amount of preparatory work that's gone in. I've said that too. There's something really big happening in the universe and it's happening inside you. And twin flames, true twin flames, are actually the crystal light body conduits for bringing in here what's necessary. So. March is for England, France, the north of France particularly, the USA, mostly the east side of the United States, Canada, especially the western end of Canada, but various parts of Canada, and some parts aren't as populated as other places. Mexico on both coasts, the South Pacific, many islands, 
and this includes uh, actually this includes Hawaii and India especially um, the northern part of India up towards the more mountainous region now April is very much going to be for the south of France southern France the Netherlands and there's a lot of awake and aware people in the Netherlands but what I'm talking about here is is the other half of you awake they're gonna wake up be ready hopefully you've gotten yourself very well prepared which I know has been a very lonely place for a lot of people Netherlands Scandinavia all the countries in Scandinavia and these have been the landing places of a lot of angelics uh, when we first came to this planet Ireland Scotland Germany Belgium the south and the west of the United States Australia and South Asia the more southern part of India Japan Western countries in Africa on the African continent and by no means am I intending to exclude anybody this is intended to be as inclusive as my guidance gives me so if your country's not mentioned please don't take it personally I'm gonna trust that you know the truth that's in your heart Colombia Peru Iceland and the Caribbean and then as we go into May this is going to be huge because this um, equinox is going to have this catapulting effect and start the people that start awakening it's like going to be like popping everyone open and awake who is intended to do this with their twin and the begin sorry the beginning of the Middle East China Russia and some other countries and other parts of South America are going to be waking up so what I want to let you know is that this is leading us up into that Cardinal Cross energy anyone remember that Cardinal Cross April of 2012 and that was a time where it was time to take you came up to a fork in a road you could do this way or this way you're at the crossroads and for some people they actually saw it as a cross in the energy and that is what was happening and there were reasons for it we were pulling in all of the four corners of the universe from wherever you've been and every individual twin flame couple started doing this pulling your outer to the inner and that was an uncomfortable sometimes painful and purging process so the Cardinal Cross from 2012 and especially 2014 this is where we are going to bring things really in a very larger way full circle I want to let you know if you've done your things if you've established yourself if you've taken the steps you're good if you haven't you, you might have some scrambling to do I'm not in charge of who is doing what what I can say to you is that there were people who positioned themselves and then turned and took a retreat back into something and I'm not talking about the one who isn't awake I'm talking about people who woke up knew why they were here knew who their person was and decided to do something else with it that's the crossroads are you gonna take this road or that road and some people went full steam ahead on the high road deciding that that was what they were here for because they could feel it they could feel it from the inside this has been a very difficult spot with people continuing to be pulled back into 3d energies all along the way at every given juncture and feeding feeling sorry feeling the energies of different planetary influences push them one way or another and sometimes not knowing how to let go of it or get it out of their system all of the blu-rays this is a special note for blu-rays right here all of the blu-rays are finding it necessary to make changes in their life whether they wish it or not and that's just a given right now a lot of us are doing things that are optimal for our union and for being who we came here to be but they don't make sense in a human way it doesn't make logical sense from a human standpoint you know things like 
Why wouldn't you go on a date? Well, because I've got about a month or two to more to wait for this person. I'm not going to do it right now. I'm not throwing everything I've done for the past four or even up to 35, 40 years. And there are people who've been waiting for exactly this time frame, March and April, for 30 to 35 years that I'm aware of. I don't speak to everyone, but I am aware of people who are. And some of those changes have been maybe to hang in with a job a little longer. Sometimes it's been to leave a job and start your own venture. Sometimes you are building it and you are trusting that your twin is coming and joining you. So that has been happening a lot where your twin has built the 3D platform to, to help you both. And you're starting up the platform from whence you will have your 5D energies. So I have a few other things to share here. And by the way, thank you to everyone who's bought my webinars and who have tuned in here and who have just been so lovely. You've been lovely all along. Thank you. We need you. Everyone is important. And I want to show you right now on this uh, diagram that I made. Now, I want to just say this to you because, as you know, I am not an astrologer. I am a blue ray illumined twin flame. And yet I know some about astrology. Astrology and astronomy have both interested me since the time of being a small child. And I'll never forget once looking at an astronomy book how the polar axis of the Earth was intended to move and wobble just a little bit in 2012. And that just somehow stuck with me. The year 2012 has just sort of been out there on a timeline for me. I didn't know what it meant as a child, of course. I didn't know what a lot of things meant. I remember being two years old walking down the street and feeling like I just don't live here. I'm, I'm not from here. I didn't really know where I was from. But I kind of knew I wasn't from here exactly. Although, you know, it's, um, it's one of those things that for many people, their past lives and their other situations have been very elusive. So I went ahead and I prepared this. Let me bring you in a little closer here. Okay, so these are crosses within the cross. So you've got the Grand Cardinal Cross here. And you're bringing in all four corners of the universe everywhere you and your twin have ever been. You know, bear with me here one second. Give me one second. Let me take this down. So I want, I want this to just sort of, it's going to be hard to read everything. Okay. Now, I write these things to mostly keep me on track, but it's a really good illustration. So... You've got the cross here, right in the center, you've got love. You've got the different elements, air, water, earth, fire, earth is the land. So, but what do these mean? Because even within every airy aspect of what we've been doing, at every given juncture, and by juncture, I mean every time there's been a retrograde in equinox, a solstice, a full moon, a planetary retrograde, a transit, um, things that you'll hear astrologers say. What is a transit? Well, it's, it's when the energies of a certain planet is on the move. You'll get T-squares. You'll get a square where it's, it's an, um, you'll get a cross. You'll get all kinds of uh, different uh, diagrams or geometric designs as to how the planets are lining up. So what I want to give you here is not necessarily the astrological perspective. This is the twin flame, the illumined and especially blue ray illumined twin flame perspective. So the air is also equivalent to the etheric which is also the cosmic ethereal, and that equates to your stardust. This is going to be all of the particles of you, your spiritual DNA, the airy parts of you, the ethereal parts of you, 
the very star stuff that you're made from it, which will be your experiences and the DNA that you've brought forward from that place. And this aspect is also governed by energies from Aldebaran, Sirius, Sinara, which is a very long ago far and away place that Blue Rays lived, and Jupiter. It's held, this energetic is held by Jupiter. So this pertains to the planetary atmosphere. It all, on the emotional side, it pertains to grief, sadness, despair, loss, um, feeling lost, things where you feel like you've had to shut the door, you're letting go of an old life, and it's been difficult. So along with this cross energy or the force of, you know, everything coming in like this, it's there to squeeze these lower emotions out of you. And this is also your sense of self, your side of the union, your individuated presence within your union. And it's also burning bridges. You're, you're leaving things behind and you're, you're cutting off the way back. This is not going backwards for you, okay? All right, the others are going to be the fire. Let me turn this a bit. The fire, which is the passion. This has been held by Mars. And this is also pertaining to sexual love, which can be 3D sex, the things that are favorites of people. Some people have favorite sexual things or people and yet all of it's getting yanked away we are releasing all of our connections to old people places things and the desire of things this can be material objects it could be anything that you've given your heart and soul to your creation so for example if alexander graham bell were a twin flame and i know he's not the sole inventor of the telephone it's just for an illustration here uh, he would have to let go of that thing and give it to the greater collective, having known that he, he and several others did what they felt in their heart and so that his heart is free then. Or it can be other things that have been created. It could be an organization. And this has been a struggle for a lot of the masculine, things like unions, brotherhoods, um, the energies of old uh, groups, cliques, collectives, clubs, secret societies, and I don't want to overly get into it, but in order to be in your union, whatever love you once used to create it, it's coming back to your heart. It won't stay plugged into those old things. It's also the desire of material things, the finer things in life, and this is coming back to people. And it'll mean different things for different people. If by all means, if you like sleeping on the ground in a um, woolen blanket and that is what your heart's desire is, you can do that. If for other people it is having a several times a year vacation on a feather bed in a Swiss ski chalet and that is your desire, you'll have it because your heart is creating it for you. So the fire and the passion also means breakups. It's usually a really fiery and so disconnected breakup. This can be really bad. These are bad breakups. These are the kind where you get fired. These are the kind where the door slams shut and you, you get thrown out. Someone calls the police on you. They got to drag you away. The, these are bad, fiery breakups this this is irrational and yes this the emotional side of this is impulsive and irrational and this is also how you uh, how some of us you're concluding relationships with other people you know like it might be that person that just always triggers you always seems to set you off it could be that one person at the office that just is you could rationalize it all you want they're just nasty you know, they're just a nasty person. And that's also what your your heart and soul is no longer here to carry any of those people. Okay, so the next part we're going to talk about the body.
This is going to be your physical body, your crystal body, your other subtle bodies because they are parts of you. They are actually tangible, although they are not visible to most people's naked eye. Some people can see a part of the auric field. Some people can see the chakras. Some people can see rainbow shimmers. And not here to diminish anyone's gifts, but whatever you do see, um, that's valid. That is a tangible part of you. It's also going to be parts of you that you can't really see but feel. Like you might feel that you've collapsed parallel lives. That's all a part of this body. But part of your new creation and bringing everything together, um, you're going to be in new lives, reinventing yourself, claiming yourself new, claiming your sovereignty. And this is held by Earth which is for renewing, it's for new things, and for making things new. And this also uh, encompasses the energies and the consciousness of Pluto, Mercury, Venus, and Jupiter. This is your physical form. So the Earth pertains to the actual elements of your physical form. It will be the etheric material and the love that you are made from for your light body and it is the carbon and all of the other parts everything that goes to make you up the iron the calcium the oxygen the water the h2o the carbon i said that again uh anything that's your physical body and this is also the energy of the super conscious the thing where it makes a lot of people think wait a minute my twin knows this i can feel them that's the that's the higher consciousness or the super consciousness, which will have a knowingness through you inside the heart. It's the music that comes through. It's things and messages that you see that absolutely only touch you in a certain way. They won't touch the other people around you, even if you say, did you see that? Did you see that message on that sign that was for me? And they'll be like, okay, great, you got a message. They won't feel it in the same way you do, but it's there for you. And this is also healing. This is some of the last bits of healing right down to your God particle level, right down to the very parts of you that could possibly show up on an MRI scan or a PET scan or something like that. And the technology, having been brought here by the people from Sirius and honed by people from Jupiter and Uranus, it's here. It's going to be some of the ways that people help. And that is part of the templating. Now, the very last one I'm going to talk about here, the water. The water is love and emotions. As you notice, the passion is fire. And this is going to be a lot of the people waking up. And a lot of people, I want to say this to you, if you have met your twin and you have a basis of friendship, do not doubt that the passion is returning because these are the next waves of color of all along that spectrum coming in here. So the water is the love and the emotions. The love is in there. The love is also what we've said about other people. Well, I do love them. They have a good heart. They're good parents. They've been a good partner. They've been a good spouse. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, we feel like roommates. There's no passion. But, yeah, I love them. Yeah, I love them. Yeah. I'm going to go do my thing now because we don't really do things together anymore. I don't know where that magic went. Guess where it went? It's being held in the body. And it's not going to be given over to other people. So this is going to have a lot to do with... Every emotion ever felt that's been contained in the ocean of love anywhere. And and it's not as simple as saying, I felt a sadness there. You'll be saying things like, I felt a sadness and it was tinged with grief and there was a frisson of, of just humor in the situation and the irony of it all. And yet the knowingness that this is somehow going to, be, you'll have like, 10 or 20 emotions all in one sitting. And that's normal. What, what I want to let you know is these human bodies are too small to contain everything that's out there. 
your light body is huge. In fact, in its normal state, it's a lot bigger. You know, you may feel that you're about 10 feet tall when you're only about 5 feet tall or 5 and a half or 6 feet tall. Your light body will feel bigger and larger to you, and at the same time, it'll feel like it gathers around you and is tucked inside. So this is going to be all the nuances, the frisons of feeling and emotion, the things that you feel from other people, and most importantly, your twin flame. I will say this, for years, the number one question I've gotten is, what is my twin flame thinking? And I say, you don't want to know what they're thinking. Because they're thinking about their grocery list, and they're thinking about work, and they're thinking about doing something to the car, and they're thinking about bills, and they're th they think about the same things you think about. They even forgot what they had for breakfast, but they're thinking about things. But what are they feeling, and what is their state of being? That's what this part is, okay? And it's all coming in, and it's all going to light up. Um, this is also the water, this is the watery uh, materials contained within your body. It's going to be the water in your cells, in the nucleus. Also the bodily fluids, the hormones, the fluids such as blood, the sexual life force. And we are bringing the sexual life force back into the heart. And this is a necessary thing. And why? Because... We've all heard of people using this or being fueled by an angry emotion such as rage or hate and committing a sexual crime. And sometimes that crime will result in a child. And we are being done with that. We are not living in these karmic lives. All of the children will be absorbed into the love somewhere. But allowing love to be degraded is no longer going to happen not anywhere out in the universe ever again this is where you're getting it right deep on the inside and that moral compass that cross that compass that's on the inside that tells you what is it that you need to do because you can feel your heart these are a lot of words to talk about the love and the heart. But it's gotten that complicated. So the next uh, part of what I want to show you has a lot to do with the planets and the very planets in our solar system. So from this day, the last day of February, Leap Day, going through April, and I've gotten two patches, thousands of people waking up. I've gotten the countries. And I also uh, want to let you know that I was also received something else from my higher self. Those people who are here to be in a, either a same-sex twin flame union or in the opposite sex, having been gay or lesbian or transgender, they too will wake up and realize who they are supposed to be with, who is their other. And there are gay, lesbian, and transgender twin flames. There are reasons for it. I cover some of the reasons in some of my webinars, but that's not the focus here. But I do want to let you know that we're collapsing all obstacles and everything, economic, social, um, all of the judgments, the mental stuff, tribal stuff, money, finances, religion, anything that seems like an obstacle between you two, you're going to collapse it. Okay, so um, all of the planets in our stars, in our solar system here, do have a connection to uh, something that has occurred over our galactic history. So many people are wrapping up the very last bits of their universal and cosmic karma. Cosmic is defined as galactic or out there in the cosmos of things that you've either done 
or have happened to you when you've been out of this solar system or off planet somehow in another life in another timeline not everyone remembers what it is and that's okay it's still getting fixed and healed and or removed released whether you like it or not because in order to be with your twin it has to we're not carrying any ancient history you're not dragging anyone with you and it has to be possible for you to align with each other so the energy of Jupiter is the energy of battles from everywhere and which is dissipating and I had this show up in a, a night vision where I saw the the big red spot that just keeps churning and churning and that this was actually um, battling energy but similar to a tor huge tornado or hurricane here uh, the analogy is the same but you have forces that are going like this with that Coriolis effect the Mars is um, in an elevated state which is why it's unpopulated at this time we're looking at an empty rock on purpose it has previously carried a lot of the invasive energies from Orion Lyra Sinara Andromeda Aldebaran Nibiru Antares and Sirius and this is a very masculine energy consciousness now Neptune is also uh, for healing and cocooning that is the planet where many people actually a lot of people who are indigos who are throwing off their indigo overcoat with this awakening have gotten a lot of their healing and cocooning and reintegration into a physical level of living on Neptune and those people from Neptune have ascended several months back they've in integrated their ascension and brought that consciousness here it's a very floaty dreamy planet it's a very fun planet I myself have lived on Neptune I have very vivid memories of living there the gravity is different and very similar to walking on the moon where you kind of could bounce you could bounce down the stairs and not get hurt um, nothing you can do here on earth earth has a really uh, heavy gravity okay Saturn is the holder of love from the galactic center and it's also holding the serious energy the serious side of love which is very stable and very serious about doing the right thing and being in love and staying in love it's sweet it's steady and it is also having to do with structures proper structures meaning that there has to be a foundation of things just like a family has to have a foundation they need a schedule they need food they need clothing this is um, what brings structure this consciousness here and Saturn is holding that this is being sensible when you're in love and Uranus and Pluto this is also a steady holding energy it's also the intellectual not the not necessarily the analytical it this is the energy that will pause and really consider things and use the high heart intelligence before reacting impulsively this is that influence from Uranus and Pluto it is also the energy that affects things it's effectual energy makes things happen in a sensible way and this is also um, Sirius Aldebaran and Andromeda now one thing you may hear from astro astrologers is Chiron Chiron's not actually a planet it's a body it is uh, very much where the blue rays have been getting healed it's needed to happen off planet in a state of being that was able to heal soul damage on a higher level very much in the outer bodies the outer subtle bodies which connect to the cosmos so that happened at Chiron the energy of this is blue green and this is healing the healers off planet that's for me very simple when I hear astrologers talk about Chiron oh Chiron this Chiron that that's immediately what I think oh healing the healers 
oh, the healers are getting more healing, or the healers are getting some other aspect of their healing. And when I say healers, by no means does it only mean laying hands on people. It can mean medications, herbs, oils. It can mean uh, energetic work. It can also be healing through the arts, such as music, artwork, written word, entertainment, such as films, screenplays, plays, skits, comedy. This is, um, in a lot of ways, when people get healed, they will come back to themselves and be able to bring forward some of this, these productions from their heart. And then we have Venus, which is very feminine energy. And this is also bringing forward uh, from Aldebaran, the Pallades, Andromeda. And Jupiter is feminine. Jupiter is also an energy that I call, I like to call it the Santa Claus energy. But if you think about an energy that is a very young father or mother, you know, it can be the feminine or the masculine. But this is the energy of surprise birthday parties, gifts at occasions, that very delightful thing that is making a wish come true. That's the energy with the wisdom. So it's that's why I call it Santa Claus. It's the wise, knowing, and magical wish maker kind of energy. So I have... Uh, one more thing to show you, along with these, as an illustration, let me uh, move this into place here. Now, this is actually a little di this is a little diorama I made, okay? This is based upon something that, okay, thank you. This is based upon something that uh, sixth grade science project about the solar system. So what I wanted to show you here was our solar system that as we've brought everything forward from places like the Pallades or Andromeda or Sirius. Let's use Sirius as an example because Sirius is very much happens every year with the Lion's Gate in August. And um, Uranus, Pluto and Mars energy was happening with these grand cardinal crosses. So you have Uranus which is the intellect and the diplomat, and you have Mars, which is action and determined. So I've kind of put this um, over here, and yet you still have a lot of the old Mars, you know, there's the guy from Mars, uh, you know, he's, they're still um, coming up to speed with certain things. Chiron is off planet, that's the off planet healing. So as we, as every single planetary retrograde happens and moves it forward to Earth, you bring the consciousness of the person, and this is when people have further awakenings and purgings, they will say, oh, you know, there's been a Nep Neptune retrograde. This is the um, dream time, this is the practice, this is love, and this is healing. We're going to now bring that to Earth, and people continue. Now, the blue rays are here having created the grid or the bridge that goes to the new Earth. And as you, what I've depicted here is Earth is the home with people going at their own speed, meeting their twin on the bridge. That is one of the things that I do in my sessions in getting people reconnected. We get them back on the bridge after me and my higher self, we get people onto the bridge after slips. And ideally, people will not continue slipping. But that is one of the things that can occur. The other thing is uh, you've got 
many times when a planet will oppose, okay? This is like hitting the pause button. Hang on here a minute. You're being opposed by the Mars energy until all of the energy from, say, for example, Uranus, till all of your masculine energy gets there and gets to Earth so you can embody it, then this opposition from Mars will give way or the retrograde. Go on back there and redo something. You, you left something out. Oh, okay. Let's try that again. I'm going to go forward now. All right, and then the energy can go forward. Someone unclicks the pause button. Now, your higher self, your soul, will know the speed at which things need to happen. And yet your willingness, your open heart, your ability to receive, pause, breathe, be patient, wait, because sometimes these retrogrades and oppositions have taken months. It's taken months for you to wait for a door to open down here. It's taken months, and it's actually been taking several years for you to wait for your twin to be ready. Some people decided that their twin really wasn't worth it and didn't wait. A lot of other people have been waiting very patiently integrating what they need to from all of the places that they have ever been having brought everything here so this has been a lot of the work that i've been doing at night is gathering so that things can be brought to uranus or neptune or jupiter or mars or especially venus and the mercury energy it's very quick and decisive and mercury is about urgent change it'll be it'll make it look like things go pause on hold the whole rest of the year is going to be like retrograde energy for people who have not continued moving forward on the steps that they need to it's different things for different people if you've been dilly-dallying with um, it could be something medical it could be a move it could be putting a house for sale. It could be getting out of a relationship. It could be taking care of the things that need to be taken care of. It could have something to do with your household, such as your animals or a piece of furniture. Furniture holds energies. At the point where many people are at, furniture could be holding an energy from an old relationship that you just don't want anywhere near your twin flame. So what I have here is just an illustration. You know, we've brought some of that angry, battling Mars energy here. And we've got Venus with the feminine love and healing energy. But there have been a lot of things that have happened in Venus. Some of the trouble from the Pallades when we fled there followed us. It followed us to Jupiter. It followed us to Venus and to Mars and Earth. Mars has been invaded. Earth has been invaded. I don't care to dwell upon those invasions. We are done with those energetics. People who will be feeling certain, and you know what an invasion feels like. Have you ever had anyone walk into your space and they're, you're just like, oh my God, they're breathing my air. It could be that small to as big as your planet has just become invaded. But we know what it feels like, whether it's small or whether it's huge. And we are throwing all of the stressful, painful things away that we don't want any longer. We are healing all of this for good. There is another level. It is connected to the new Earth. Only the true couples are allowed to go through with each other. That is another change. People will no longer be able to go to the new with anybody but their own true love. That is a change that's been made on purpose because of the way things have fallen apart. Why would someone, you know, why would anyone want to go grab other people's things when they don't feel fulfilled, when they feel a lack? when they feel limited. And when you are with your twin flame, 
and you're properly aligned and your chakras are lined up and you are connected here, here, and out there, you won't feel the necessity to really be with other people. In fact, it will begin to feel natural that you have truly let go and been able to uh, let other people go. So this has been a very lengthy video. Thank you so much for watching. I actually will have some more to talk about. I wish everybody to be optimistic and hopeful for your twin to wake up. Hang steady here. Hang in here. Thank you. Bye.